guys, how's it going? Uh, we're looking at Dreams by Fleawood Mac today. Um, it's one of my favourite songs to play live, but like, I always do it like first set, it's nice and chill. Always goes down really well though. Um, and it's only two chords, which we love, but one of them is an F chord. So, good, good thing to practice the F, um, but it's a nice and simple song. Anyway, so, yeah, this is how I would play it in an acoustic covers setting, because on the record, there's a lot going on that's very hard to emulate just on acoustic guitar. So this is how I approach it when I'm playing gigs with singers. Um, you can play the whole song, like I said, two chords, F and G. So you can do whatever F and G chords are comfortable for you. And the way I'd strum it, basically you could do the whole song down, 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 up, down, up, each chord. So F, down, 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 up, down, up. And then G, down, 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 up, down, up. So if you want, you can go off and just practice that. Um, if you want to watch the rest of the video, I'm going to go into more detail and give you more options of different chord shapes we can look at. Uh, I'm also going to look at that really nice uh, lead solo at the start and then there's another uh, interlude solo that I really like that I've um, tapped out. Uh, yeah, so without further ado, enjoy! So first we're going to go through our different options for playing the F chord. Uh, we'll start off easy and work our way up in difficulty. So your first option is your basic F where you've got ring finger, third fret, D string, middle finger, second fret, G string, and then first finger, first fret, B string, leaving that bottom E string open. It actually, I always play it as an F major seven with that open E, because it just sounds really nice when I go to the G. Um, so that's your most basic F. You can make that a little bit trickier and a bit fuller by moving your ring finger over to the A string and then putting your pinky on that third fret D string and strumming from A string down. Now you can make that a little trickier by adding the thumb on top. So that thumb is on the first fret of the E string. So now I'm strumming all the strings. Um, or if you prefer, you can do a full bar. So I'm putting my first finger across the first fret there and playing all the strings. And that would make it really easy to then go to G as a bar chord, because you just move up two frets. Um, but we'll come back to that. So when I'm playing it, most of the time I'm doing that F with the thumb on top, ring finger on A string, pinky third fret D string, middle finger second fret G, first finger first fret B. So just to recap, we've got the most basic F. Uh, we can add in the A string. Then we can also add in the thumb. Cool, so now let's look at our options for G. Um, we'll start off, well, say if we were using doing the basic F, you could just move that up two frets. So that'd be a very easy option um, to change between F and G. Um, if we can do our basic G, so that's middle finger third fret E string, first finger second fret A, open D, open G, open B, and then third fret E. You could also add pinky on the bottom there. Um, if you, you are, oh, here's like a cheat way to do G. I'm, I'm on an R in a lot in this video. Because I've got my ring finger and middle finger here for the F, you can just jump them over. And that's another easy way to change. So they jump up to the top there. All right, great, so we could do our G 
just by moving that basic F up two frets. We can do our normal G. Uh, we can do our G uh, with ring finger and pinky on the bottom. Or we could do our cheat G. So the way I do it, I play F with my thumb on top of the E string there. And then I go to a G with ring finger and pinky on the bottom. And then strumming, I'm going down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up each chord. And then I always like to emphasize that second strum. So the first strum is a bit of a little strum, hitting the first few strings, and then that second strum I go through all of them. So that's just something I really like to do. Um, so now what I'll show you is during the chorus we've got this strumming pattern. Which I think is exactly what's happening on the record during the chorus. So they have an F major 7 and we're gonna go down, 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 up, down. Or you can add on that last upstroke. Um, and then they go to a G7. So that's just like your cheat G. And then adding pointer finger onto fret one of that E string. Next, uh, they do an F with the pinky added to 3rd fret of the E string. I think we call that like an F sus. And then going back to a, a G7. So on the record during the chorus it goes F major 7 to G7 to F with that pinky on the bottom and then back to G7 and keep repeating. Great, and then lastly, I'm going to give you a cheat way to get you out of playing the F altogether. You put a capo on fret three, and instead of doing F to G, you just go D, so D major with first finger, second fret G string, ring finger, third fret B string, and middle finger, second fret E to an E major. So that's middle finger, second fret A, ring finger, second fret D, first finger, first fret G, strumming all the way. So that's all the different options. Um, so it's just a matter of practicing it, putting it together, making, making those changes on time. My big tip for that is keep your strumming hand going no matter what. Even if you haven't quite got the chord ready, just keep that strumming hand going. All right, great. So if you're comfortable playing the chords with which what with whatever option you've picked, uh, let's look at look. Let's take a look at those solos. So we're going to take a look at the first solo that comes in around the start of the song. Uh, I'll play it first. So let's look at uh, let's look at what's happening. We start off with a slide from eight to ten on the B string, or you can just play the tenth fret B string. Um, the slide is just more of an effect. So we're going to hold that for six beats in total. One, two, three, four. One, two. So 
So that next bit, we're going seven, slide up to nine, slide back to seven, pluck fifth fret G string, finish on seventh fret D. So that's seven, slide to nine, back to seven, fifth fret G, seventh fret D. If sliding's too tricky, you can of course just pluck the notes. And then we're gonna do the same thing but starting on the D string now. So that's seven, slide up to nine, back to seven, five, then seven on A. I'll just put all that together. So we start at 10th fret B string. And then we're over on G string, seven, slide to nine, back to seven, five, seventh fret D. Then seven, slide to nine, back to seven, fifth fret D, seventh fret A. So I'll play it and count out the beats. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two. So that last bit goes fifth fret D, hammering on five, seven on E. So you gotta jump across the string. So fifth fret D, jump across the string, five, hammer to seven, five again on the E string. If hammering, if hammering on is a bit tricky for you at the moment, you can, uh, of course, just pluck all the notes. So that comes in on the end of, wait, one, two, yeah, end of two. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Probably easy just to feel that bit. One, two. So I'm gonna play it through the whole thing. I'll just do that one more time, counting out the beats. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two. I find it too hard to count that last bit and play at the same time. But you can kind of see we're starting, we got two counts after every break. Two, three, four, one, two. Whoops, I'll do that again. Two, three, four, one, two. Two, three, four, one, two. Two, three, four, one, two. All right, cool. Uh, I'll just run through the solo one more time. Great, uh, let me know how you go with that. So we're gonna look at this second solo now. I'll play it first. So we're starting off, uh, first finger goes to eighth fret E string. Then I'm going to go uh, ring finger on 10th fret B string and we're going 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 7th fret G. So we started on 8th fret E, then 10, 8 on B, 10, 8 again, then 10th fret B to 7th fret G.
Also just take note of the fingers I'm using. So I start off on my pointer finger or first finger. Then I'm jumping between ring finger and pointer. Finishing on pointer again. Next, we're gonna jump to 5th fret E string, pinky to 8th fret B, ring finger to 7th fret G. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, and 2, and 3, 4, 1, 2, and 3, lastly, 5th fret G to 7th fret D. So here's where you want to be using one finger per fret. Um, cool, so I'll just play that phrase one more time. Great, we're kind of repeating the start again. We're back to fret 8 on the E string. This time 10, 8 on B. Letting it ring out. 10 to 7th fret G. Uh, now here's where it changes a little bit. We still jump up to that 5th fret E again. And we're going 8th fret B to 5th fret G. 7th fret G to 7th fret D. So that's 5. 8th fret B to 5th fret G. 7th fret G to 7th fret D. So I'll just go from that second phrase. Now I'll just put it all together. Then to finish off, we got this cool lick. So I'm going 5th fret E, pinky to 8th fret B, 5th fret G, and 7th fret D. And I do it all with upstrokes. So that way the pick is just moving in, goes in one motion. Alright, let's put it all together. And now I'll just count out the beats. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and. All right, let me know if you have any dramas with that. Hope you enjoyed that lesson guys, um, if you'd like to see more videos consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'm also going to be posting stuff on Instagram, so that's at Harrison Longworth. And then I'm also posting stuff on TikTok, and that's at Harry Guitar Tuition. Until next time, take it easy.